kind of looking like a penis, to be honest. Not intentional, I swear. Usually it is intentional, but this time it is not. What's going on, guys? Dragass here, and welcome back to another episode of Fort. So we're going to continue on the campaign today, and hopefully we can finish this up pretty soon. I don't think it's a very long campaign, so I'm excited to get back into it. It's been a, probably close to a week since I last played this. I took a little break from it. No real reason, just I've been busy with other games, so I'm excited to get back into this and see what we can do. So a bridge too far. Looks like we do have to make a bridge. Uh, destroy enemy fort. Don't attach to floating islands and snipe all machine guns. All right, we can do that, hopefully anyways, and yeah, yeah, hopefully it goes well. You'll need more than a mortar to defeat me with these machine guns. How about a couple of warheads? Okay, so we have, he's got a little base here. Three machine guns to pin this fort. Okay, I can see those guys. And we got one mortar. Our heavy mortar will be not be, will not be enough for this mission. Uh, definitely want to make some snipers here. We built warhead silos, but we need a sniper to fire them. Okay, so this actually works out well. Build a bridge out to the first outcrop, and then build a bridge out to the second one. And then build a bridge out to the third one, and we get a sniper. We can't just spawn a sniper. We gotta literally build bridges to get snipers, guys. Ropes can be attached to anything to support your bridges. This is something I actually didn't know. A lot of you guys were saying that in my multiplayer episode I should have attached to the mountain. You guys are totally right. I didn't realize you could attach to the ground, which is obviously really cool. So, uh, we should do a little better this time, because I do know that. And she's giving me a tip. Use the mortar to draw the fire of the enemy machine guns, then take them out with the sniper. Okay, that's that's actually a good tip. I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh, make your country great again. Oh my god. Every fucking time, game, you just ruin it with that, that whole fucking saying there. Okay, so, do I want to just make a... I think I'm going to make a little simple fort, guys. So we're just going to try and connect all the way across. It's going to be bouncy, obviously. Maybe we should expand this out, actually. Because probably one bullet and that thing will break. So just to play it safe, I'm going to actually, yeah, expand this out kind of like that. Uh, I can't actually bring that all the way over there. So if we do this, it's going to kind of look weird, but it will work. Trust me, it will work. There we go. Just like that. That's going to uh, add a little bit more structural integrity to the thing. And that should be good. And we'll also put a rope just in case. Let's start it all the way up here. And can we reach? Oh, we can't reach. So we got to go down to there, unfortunately. Okay, let's keep moving on. We do have to work quickly here. So we're going to square this thing off, make it a little easier on myself. And then we will expand this outwards. Let's actually attach a rope to that just to play it safe. All right, and we'll connect up to that just like that. There we go. And now we can expand this bridge for a little while longer. I'm going to definitely want to put another rope on. Oh, man, this is... God damn. All right. How, how's he doing over there? He's just chilling. All right. Which is good for me. It al allows me to build this thing. We're going to put that like that. I really wish you could like tighten these ropes to uh, bring the bridge upwards. Okay. I got to go back to the bracing here. And what we're going to do, we're kind of, I mean, it's not going to be a good bridge, but it's going to be a bridge at that. So there we go. We'll do that. And then we'll do that. That should be more or less enough. You know what? Just to be safe, let's put a rope here as well. I mean, we the more ropes, the better guys. All right. We're going to go directly this way because this thing's going to get weighed down. This is probably the biggest bridge, so we'll kind of do like an arch bridge here. There we go, and right here we're going to want to connect to that. There! Oh, that's going to be really good, actually. All right, we'll even this out a little bit. We'll put that there like that. Oh, 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 okay. I want to go all the way down to that. There we go. Once again, let's put another rope on. Bam! Just like that, and we should be good to go all the way to the end now, or at least pretty close to it. Okay, let's do another one just in case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for it to bounce upwards and then attach this so it stays like that. Perfect. And that's actually a really nice bridge considering the gap we had to cross. What am I doing here? We need to get to the bracing to get to the sniper. So now we got the sniper fort and we can actually use those mortars or whatever they are in the back there. All right, so we're gonna utilize this mortar. Let's try somewhere like there. I gotta pay attention to two things at once here. They're trying to shoot it down. I'm gonna go a bit lower this time. There we go, we got one. Wow, that was a that was a lucky shot. So I have to make a mental note that that was the middle one. We're gonna wanna drop it a little bit. I didn't actually watch the mortar, so I don't know where it went. Let's try that. Okay, that was way off though. Not really sure why we're doing the sniping when we can just do this as well. Let's uh, open that up and actually atta att attack this thing. So there we go. 
There goes my rockets. They're gonna try and shoot those. Ah, uh, that's why I should probably get those down first, because they can get rid of them. All right, so it all makes sense. The mortar is actually a good idea here, so let's go 100%. There we go, and get ready, get ready, get ready. I need to shoot this. Ah, uh, okay, that's the that's the middle one. Let's actually practice this. Let's get it all set up first. So I want to get the top one right now. That's a little high. Is that the sweet spot? Yes, it is. Okay, so now I know exactly where to aim. We're gonna do this again. There we go, and now we can just literally put my crosshair on that and there we go we got that one <laughs> that actually worked out okay we need to get one more and then we can take this whole thing out there we go this is pretty much set up perfectly there we go oh man he closes that real quick there we go now i got it now my mortars did not even make it over there but now he's got no defenses so we can actually utilize these things as attacks now so we're gonna go right for the top i think and hopefully we can get it in one shot here. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, there they go. They got no defenses, so they can't block them or anything. I probably should have won a bit lower now that I think about it. But holy shit, I guess it doesn't really matter. There we go. Now it's out in the open. All right, I can actually probably just use my sniper to knock this thing down now. Let's try that out. Oh, oh a little high. Uh, you know what? I probably should use my other things because... Ooh, actually... Let's try that again. All right, it is being hit, but I don't think it's doing enough damage. So you know what? Let's just let's just do easy mode here. We're going to use my ones and bam. As simple as that. Let's try and shoot it before they can get there, just for funsies. There we go. I hit it once. They're they're coming in. Oh yeah, there. This thing is totally screwed. That that is an awesome weapon though. All right, there we go. Got that one done. Did I? I don't even remember the uh, requirements for this one. So I did. Two out of three, not too bad. Don't attach to the floating islands. All right, so I did build the bridges with the floating islands. All right, I'm gonna actually do the third one real quick just because I can, I know how to do it. Basically, we just gotta build towers here to attach instead of the floating islands. So this should be relatively easy and we'll quickly get that final checkpoint. All right, it's a bit sideways, but you know what? It's actually working out quite well here. We're gonna put that there like that. We're gonna put that there like that. And bam, you can see I'm using a lot of ropes to keep this thing up. Now we're attached to this, so we can actually build upwards here as well. You know what? Let's make this extra big just to be safe. And we're gonna go about the same height as before. And of course, attach a bunch of ropes on this side as well. Make sure this thing is structurally as stable as possible. Uh, I think, you know what? No, let's do this one. I do like the little bit of an angle because it does droop downwards, as you guys saw, which will actually work well for this. All right, so we're going to do that arch bridge again. It's getting a little bit too wobbly for my comfort, so we're going to, of course, tie this thing off. But yeah, this is working just fine. This is exactly what I wanted. All right, we'll expand out this one a little bit. Uh, right about there should be good, like that. Oh, look at this. It feels like it's Poly Bridge, guys. All right, we'll do that. Oh, fuck, there she goes. Okay, let's retry that again. Thankfully, we have limitless time right now, so this is, uh, this, this is, this is a good learning experience, guys. All right, we're gonna strengthen this a little bit better this time. We still got this thing hanging out over here, but with that added strength over there, we should be okay to deal with this now. So we're gonna put that like that, that like that. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have done that so far. Uh, all right, this is gonna be ugly once again. Okay, I'm not comfortable doing another one without a rope here So let's put a rope right in the middle. There we go. You know what? We'll put a couple down just to be safe Kind of looking like a penis to be honest not intentional. I swear usually it is intentional, but this time it is not Oh god, you can see the red beam right there. You know what? Let's make this a little thicker just to add some more support to this thing. There we go. And you know what? We'll make that like that as well. Oh Fuck that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea connect connect it up Connect it up, and <laughs> we're okay. I mean, it's not pretty, but we did it. Now we just got to do the same thing over again. All right, and we are going to get shot, so I do have to kind of make this a little bit more stable. There we go. So I got everything. Uh, we'll just got to do the sniper mechanic again, and we should be good. And boom goes the dynamite. All right, so that feels a little better. I think we got a perfect run. It's been a while since we've gotten a perfect one. Uh, but yeah, don't attach to the floating island. Success! Let's move on to the next one. That sinking feeling! Destroy enemy fort, win with spotless reactor. I don't even know what that is. Win without heavy mortar. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm gonna try for all those right now, because this is gonna be difficult. Uh, I thought we had left trench warfare in the 20th century. Mine is- mine's a trench, yours is a grave. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. So funny. 
The Dragon Army are right on our doorstep. Yes, we are. And, uh, yeah, protect your reactor with these machine guns. Okay, so we have to do some protection right now. Obviously, we need to go connect over to that for incendiary mo motor mortars. Wow, I can't talk. And then we need to connect up to there to get the next upgrade as well. All right, so let's do this. Waste no time at all. I'm going to try and go across this really quickly. We're obviously going to need to support this a little bit. Oh, no, don't, don't want to do a rope. Oh, okay, so we need to connect these together. Uh, hopefully he's like way off right now. I think he is. I, I don't know what he's doing. I actually thought he was gonna shoot at me. All right, but there we go. We connected to that. Let's waste no time and climb this wall as well. There we go. We connected to the upgrade center. So now we're more or less ready to go here. He's already, he's still building uh, the thing across. We actually can place our own units now. So incendiary mortar. When with spotless reactor, when without heavy mortar. Okay, so we don't, we can't get a heavy mortar, but we can get these guys. So we're going to put a guy there. Kind of keep these guys in the open. This should be fun. And we have our machine gunners already connected together. I did not mean to shoot my base. That was uh, a little bit stupid, but uh, you know what? It's all good. I, at least it's not the enemy shooting me. And we'll connect these together. So once they're done, we're prepared to shoot those things. There we go. We got all three ready to go. We're going to go 100% right now just to see what happens here. Uh, actually, that was... Holy shit, we almost hit it, guys. All right. I did notice one of my rockets did hit the, the side, though, so... Ooh, man. Okay, we have to be careful about that. I put that a little bit too close to the side. Oh, there we go, though. That's the perfect shot. I don't even care. I probably don't need three. We're just gonna use the two here. Oh, there, there goes the third, actually. So that is the perfect setup right there. Bam! And we hit him. I don't think he's gonna have time to actually start shooting us. Oh, uh, all three. Oh, this guy is in a bad position already. So, <laughs> great for me. Very bad for him because I got my aim set up right away here. He just put out his fire, but uh, yeah, there's some more for you, buddy. Oh, shit, this is great. It's always fun when you're the one doing well. There we go. He just put out his fire again, and I'm already hitting his core. I mean... This couldn't go better. Oh, his core's on fire. Oh, shit, he's shooting at me. You know what? We, we, we can deal with that. There we go. Got rid of that one. And here comes another one for you, buddy. Keep it keep it up, buttercup. Oh, yeah, this is not good. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to break his fucking bridge. Uh, let's get that. There we go. Oh, oh, you missed him. You missed him, boys. All right, well, we did lose one of our guys. Let's put another one down here. And let's uh, repair that fire before bad things happen. All right, there we go again. We got that one down. Put the mortar gun on top again. That's a pretty good space for them. Uh, wow, he repaired quick while I was busy uh, dealing with his damage. He, he had a really good shot there. There we go, though. We're, we're, we're doing a little better. Okay, his base is on fire. It's taken much longer than I expected, but we did it. He was focusing on building his base. I was just focusing on laying down the law. Win with a spotless reactor. Unfortunately, he did burn it down a bit. It, I probably could have built around it a little more like he did. But uh, I just wanted to keep the pressure on, and it did work in our favor. So that feels good. Now we're actually at the end here. I still need to earn, it looks like, do I have to earn 19? I think I only need to earn three more to get to the next level. So we're going to go back and do some of the easier ones to see if we can uh, get those oil points. All right, there we go. I think I did it perfectly there. He didn't shoot. I did the chain reaction, so I think I got this one perfect now. Yes, there we go. Prevent enemy from firing a shot. Destroy enemy fort and win by chain reaction. Uh, so we got two new points there. Mini guns, mortars, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to go to next here. And bam, there we go. We need two more. That's it. Oh, wait. Theater unlocked. Mother load. Uh, okay. I don't know what that is. I guess it's this one? Yeah, okay. So... Locate and secure the mother load. Okay, so I know we were trying to find the oil mother load, so I'm assuming that's what this is all about. Oh, shit. We got fact news here, guys. We're hearing reports that the Eagle Empire, believing they have discovered the location of the mother load, have now lost contact with their helicarrier, the ESS Extravagance. In response, the Iron Bear Alliance is deploying forts of their own to exploit the Eagle Empire's apparent misfortune and replenish their dwindling metal and energy stockpiles. Stay tuned for updates. All right, well, this is something a little bit different. Eagle Empire campaign complete. Oh shit, I did it, guys. I thought I thought we were going to have to do a little bit more, but yes, that is it for the Eagle Empire, guys. We totally completed it. Uh, I guess we still could upgrade some of these if you guys would like that, but I think that's pretty much everything in the current campaign, guys. So if we hit continue here, yeah, there's nothing else to do. Uh, locate and secure the mother load. Wait. I'm very confused. I think this is the, the end for right now, then. 
Yeah, so campaign complete, that's a little bit confusing considering it's still part of the game, but uh, yes, I'm assuming uh, they're going to be developing more of the campaign later on. So that's it for right now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little Let's Play for Forts. If you guys do want to see some more, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, I could definitely do some more multiplayer. We could do some skirmishes even, uh, just against AI, and that should be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.